Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in to Libra's Way. Let's see what's coming in or who's coming in for the collective in the month of September. Let's see what we have going on. By the way, this is the Edgar Allan Poe tarot deck. Strength. A Leo, potentially. This person could have lots of courage. They could be somebody who... Oh my gosh, what is that terrible noise? I feel like this noise that's in the background, it's kind of like feeling like they're going to come in like a storm. This Leo energy. Oh my gosh. We also have the Ace of Swords, so I feel like there's going to be something about them that like encourages you to live in your truth. Their energy is going to like make you feel like you're it's okay to align with your truest self. We have the world. The world feels like, of course, things are coming to full circle. And we have the hanged man. So, I mean, I feel like if it doesn't come in by Pisces season, it could be that with this energy, I'm also getting that there's some sort of a crossroads here that somebody has in their lives when this new person does come in with the courage card, with the hanged man, with the world card. This is all about a significant journey um, that where somebody needs to be very honest and real with who they are, who they want to be, the types of people that they want to attract into their lives. They might work in the office with you. Now, I'm also feeling that with the Ace of Pentacles coming out right after the Ten of Cups here, along with the Moon, this person could come and... What I'm hearing is, like, you could end up going to a lot of parties with them. You could end up going to a lot of, like, events with them. Um, in the future, they could have you be their plus, you would be their plus one or vice versa. I'm also seeing with the Ten of Cups here, this person would actually, could really like music. They could actually play an instrument and be very good at playing an instrument. They might also love the energy of like medieval times or like, you know, old school Europe, you know, cobblestones, cobblestone path, pay, uh, pathways with the Ace of Pentacles, with the Ten of Cups though. It almost feels like this person comes in after you level up in your life. So it could be that like them coming into your life, when they come into your life, it's going to be validation that you are on your right path because you're closest to your truth. But it, they only come after this final test of you aligning with your career opportunities or goals. Um, like you need to tap, you need to prove yourself to the universe, to your guides, that you're ready to level up. And once you kind of overcome that hurdle of like, the test has been completed, you have passed the test, everything can work. Everything can work out in a new way. I'm hearing September is super strong though for this energy. So like, if they don't come in by Pisces season, well, it could take as long as Pisces season actually for it to manifest into something real. So it could be that you become friends in the month of September for people who like you've never met them before. It also feels like there could be people that are on dating apps, you know, doing all of those types of things. We have the King of Swords here too. So this is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, along with the King of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. So yeah, I'm feeling like somebody is mentally deciding to close themselves off from this connection. It could be that in the past or somebody recently that you've had to let go of. It's time. It's okay. You're allowed to let go of them. The Six of Cups, you might have had a soulmate connection, but perhaps it, it isn't meant to come true. Now, they're also making me feel like I need to bring up the story about the lake house. The movie The Lake House is with Sandra Bullock and Keanu Reeves. Everybody knows Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock. They're both such, they have such great reputations. And with how they, with how the movie played out, it was almost like years past for them to meet each other. And in the movie Sandra Bullock, uh, she, her favorite book was the movie, was the book Persuasion. 
If you haven't seen the movie or read the book, um, it's also about how it took years for this couple to come together. How initially they actually were both dating different people, seeing different people. They were living their lives. At one point, they loved each other and it was real. And then the, the man disappeared and came back after all those years. And um, she, the main character, was sort of always the outcast. The one that like nobody thought would like end up happy or happily married or something and then they ultimately uh ended up at the, in the long haul I don't want to tell you everything about how it happens but it took them all of this time to end up together now this is also a mature ugh, that's so weird look at how I was trying to communicate and I wasn't able to it's this it's this time of year you guys mercury is in retrograde so communication is a little bit difficult okay so if you hear me stumbling on my words for the coming one to two months, it's literally because this is the energy that we are in. People are having to reconsider how they communicate with each other. They have to reconsider how they come across to other people. We have the sun here. So again, very much like September, October time, this energy, this person might come back out of nowhere. You might have not heard from them for a very long time. Be prepared for anything. All right, who else is coming in? Let's see. Or what else is coming in, really? Reconciliation, of course, with Mercury and retrograde. It just flew out. We have engagement. Engagement was in the reverse, but I don't really read reversals. So it could be that somebody who was not just talking with you, suddenly they are with getting the chance to know each other. Suddenly there is this decision, there's a conscious decision to get to know you better. And this is a ripe time of year to do so, this holiday season. I'm definitely feeling that like there is an opportunity for a reconnection here. It keeps feeling like somebody is putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. And eventually it's going to come back. It's gonna come back around and it's time for, it's time for this connection to kind of be concluded or have some sort of like um, a movement forward, a shift forward because it just, it's been stagnant, it's been stale. So if you want um, to pursue somebody that maybe you have unfinished business with, I don't want to say that this is the best time to do it, but like it is a time where it's expected that if you do come around and if you guys do stick around, there might be a lesson that needs to be learned. Could also be that, um, I don't know, with this person though, is what's coming in this energy. I feel like they're hiding. I feel like they are currently MIA and they want to stay that way. They've been they've been this way. And look, this is what it feels like. They're totally MIA with the forest here. And then out of freaking nowhere, they come in like a volcano. Out of nowhere. Like they come in like a wrecking ball, like a storm. I don't know how this is going to work, but it's almost like they go from nothing to suddenly like showing you everything. All their cards are on the table. So be prepared for some energy like that where it's just like, nope, just go for it. And it almost feels like they're encouraging me to say, no, just allow them to go for it. Allow for them to invoke, look at this invocation. Interesting. Be careful though. Be careful. Okay. If you're, if you are, if you know that somebody new is coming in, or if you know that there is somebody that's lurking out there in your energy that maybe, or somebody that's out there that has unfinished business with you, be very careful because it could also go from nothing to suddenly like amazingness, craziness, they could bring in, they, like I said, they come in like a storm of some sort. We have nurturing, we have childhood innocence. So this is very much energy of like 
not showing anything, not showing any of their cards to suddenly like the reason that it's such, it's so volatile is because suddenly they come in and they like, literally what I'm feeling is they will like not see you for six months out of nowhere. They come in, they drive up to your front or they come to your front driveway. They walk up to your front door, they see you and then they kiss you and they tell you all of these amazing things that like you've wanted to hear for all of this time. And it's almost like too good to be true. So I kind of, I, I wouldn't be on the defensive completely, but like, I feel like you're also in your power with when this person or who, what or who is coming in, this person, this energy is like, you're finally, you finally have graduated. Do you see how this woman is finally able to like manifest everything she wants? She has her candle, she has her crystals she has her pet snake <laughs> she's like in sitting in her power among the forest she has every tool that she needs she's almost the magician here this woman has manifested the new beginnings with this person it could be that you actually manifested this person to come into your life and with that comes a brand new pathway almost forward that's what it feels like now i want to pull some for angel answers oracle deck and they keep showing me also like with the volcano they keep showing me december january i don't know if somebody for another group of people december or january it could be that their month their birth month is december or january it could be that your birth month is December, January. It could be that that's when you meet them or things become more solidified. It's They're also telling me the holiday season makes everything more special, makes the energy more special. Look, within the next few weeks. So this person comes in within the next few weeks. Interesting. No need to worry. So it could be that you've been worried about like how to approach this situation. We have weight under... <clears throat> excuse me underneath the volcano which makes it feel like even with the cough i'm superstitious so everything that happens surrounding a reading when i start coughing when i wanted to say volcano there's some sort of a hiccup with the weight card the volcano there's a hiccup that's what the waiting situation is there's a waiting game that's here but within the next few weeks Everything makes sense. The situation will improve. All right, guys. Well, that's it for the who, who or what is coming in situation. Uh, be prepared. This could bring in some interesting characters, uh, especially during Libra season. As a Libra's way, I will tell you, Libra is very prone to have like to be very relationship oriented. We're all about love. Venus is is all about love for us, Venus and Libra. So be prepared to really be focused on these relationships or these situationships between September and October. It's gonna be highlighted. So, you know, don't do anything irrational. <laughs> be prepared if you feel like you need to be, like you're just gonna follow your heart. This is the Libra energy, okay? You're just gonna feel suddenly like, I don't need to listen to my mind. I just need to follow my heart and soul. That's going to guide me. You got to be very careful because once you get out of Mercury and retrograde in end of October, November, and out of that shadow period, you're going to say, oh my gosh, what did I do? So be prepared. This energy is definitely weird. It's different. I am, I feel, I feel weird and different energy right now. Currently doesn't feel like the norm. So, you know, we're growing, we're evolving, we can feel the change, we can feel the shifts, and uh, be prepared. All right, guys. Cave Sanctuary, yes. Prepare your sanctuary. Thank you for tuning in to Libra's Way, and I will see you in another love reading soon. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell, and uh, comment if this resonates with you. Bye, guys.